Ford Model T cars made their way through Branson today, bringing back history and a reunion of three strangers who share a bond that will never be broken. Our Brett Martin spoke with three men who served our country together more than seven decades ago. Brett. Yeah, Lindsay, the three men live in different parts of the country, and a lot has changed since they were in the same room together. But when you hear them talk and tell their stories of war, it's like they never missed a beat. After 70 years, the simple Model T car didn't only bring back history to Branson, but it also got the motor running in the minds of three World War II veterans who saw the worst of the worst of the war. <laughs> it's a reunion seven decades in the making. They'd come back to memory and, and uh, run through my mind, and I often wondered well, what, you know, what happened to of three men who served in World War II together and spent a month in a German prison camp. We, we got up to the Rhine River and that's as far as we got. They were delighted to see us, so they invited us across. We were the first ones to invade Germany on <laughs> German land, but we did go with our hands over our heads. George Landrum, Howard Palmatier, and Dan McCabe were riflemen in the 83rd Division who fought in Germany. I think they made a wrong decision. Tell them about going across the field. <laughs> oh, well, how <laughs> oh, was that? The marching fire? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of typical. <laughs> Some memories bring out laughs in the 90 something year olds. And the first thing in the morning, I'd hear, I called and I called, but nobody answered. And <laughs> George was singing that. <laughs> Others hard to forget. It, it took me 60 years, like the 60th anniversary before, where I could even talk anything about it. And just, yeah, I never told my wife anything. And when I looked at that canal and that picture, I thought I could almost feel that water the way I went walking across. But it was way this weekend, the three POWs reunited for the first time since March of 1945. Germans were on one then, and the Germans were on the other, and we'd gone through some, so they were behind us. History lives on, but the three don't get around as easy as before. So this weekend is a once in a lifetime. This may be the only time that we'll ever all be together again because of our ages and health. So the trio plan to put these memories right next to those of the cold German nights. Of course we were out of bullets because we shot them up before we got there. It's of 70 years ago. And it's a common sort of a bond that we have. We'll, we'll always have, I guess. And the three, the three will spend time in Branson tonight and tomorrow before going back to their homes on Tuesday, but they say they hope to come back together again, but this time without decades in between visits. A very